The new iPhone brings some quality of life features that could completely change how you tell stories with your smartphone. Welcome to Smartphone Storytellers, where it's my goal to give you the skills that you need to tell stories using your smartphone. If that's something that's interesting to you, make sure you drop a subscribe um, and check out some other stuff on the channel. We've got some really cool things going on this month. It's Apple iPhone Keynote Day, one of my favorite days of the year. It's no secret I'm a big fan of Apple's phones, so I always love seeing what new features they're going to announce. Specifically, I always want to see how it's going to impact photography and filmmaking. Today I'm going to talk through five of the things that will change the way you use your smartphone to tell stories. USB-C finally comes to the iPhone. Finally. While the Lightning Cable's had its day, it's been holding the phone back for quite a few years now. So why is this actually significant though? While you can easily edit on your iPhone, and I frequently do, sometimes it's nice to sit down at a computer and edit your story. The problem is it's slow to transfer over your footage, especially if you film ProRes video. With the update to USB 3.0, you finally can transfer your video at 2013 speeds. Filming on your phone takes up a bunch of space, once again, especially if you're filming in ProRes. The iPhone 15 Pro allows you to plug in an external hard drive to record your video footage to that drive. Additionally, this unlocks ProRes at 60 frames a second, so you can shoot some nice slow-mo footage on your phone. Honestly, ProRes can often be overkill for videos, but the option to utilize an external hard drive makes it much more appealing. Let's talk about ease of transferring it over to another device. All you do is plug in the drive and you're ready to go with it and work with that footage. The iPhone 15 Pro introduced some improvements to how they handle the focal lengths of each lens. The main camera is a 48 megapixel camera, which is great for photography. It becomes even more appealing though when it comes to video because this means the camera can crop in and give you a couple extra focal lengths without adding any physical lenses. The main lens can now operate at 24 millimeters, 28 millimeters, and 35 millimeters without any major quality hits. This helps because it means that you can quickly grab different shots while filming an event, allowing you to grab a wide shot, a medium shot, and then grab a few close-ups without needing to change too much. Meanwhile, the iPhone 15 Pro Max brings another improvement to the filmmaking world. The periscope lens has been rumored for years. I'm not about to talk through the science of it because I'm not quite sure how it works exactly, but the fact that you now have a 5x telephoto lens on your smartphone, giving you effectively a 120mm lens, is insane. It's just another tool to grab a variety of shots. Though you're going to want to be careful when you use it because if you're more zoomed in, it's a little harder to keep it stable. The phone does add a ton of stabilization, so it's going to be interesting to see how much it offsets the movements of your hands. But this focal length may be the best use with a tripod, a monopod, or some other stabilization method. Regardless, I can't wait to try it out and put it through the paces. Finally, the iPhone 15 Pro brings a small change that makes the phone even better as a filmmaking tool. You now have an action button that you can use to set to open the camera, which means you can just quickly open the camera and make it so much easier. It's a subtle addition, but anything that speeds up the process is a win. While not an improvement to the iPhone itself, iOS 17 does introduce an update to AirDrop while transferring to another device on your account. Instead of needing to keep the devices right next to each other for the duration of your transfer, you can now initiate the transfer and finish it via the World Wide Web. AirDrop was previously my preferred way to transfer over speeds due to the USB 2.0 speeds being so slow, but you need to keep the devices awake and near each other for it to work. This was pretty frustrating at times because if you got distracted, then suddenly you would need to start all over again, and that could take time. While they haven't announced when these improvements are going to go live, it promises to make the process much more painless. The iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Pro are once again just tools to help you in telling your story. You can still tell an effective story if you have an iPhone X or an iPhone SE, but it's always exciting to look at the updates in new phones to see when you might eventually upgrade and see what you might get. As always though, remember, it's not about the gear, it's about the story. 